despite a situation being extremely negative, I think it's always important and it can be really tough a lot of times, especially speaking from personal experience. And I know you all have a lot of personal experience with it as well in your lives, but it can be really tough to look for the positive uh, in a negative situation, in a situation that's bringing you down, in a situation that's really stressing you out, that's bothering you, something that's, that's just really a thorn in your side. But if you can find the positive in it, then that can make such a big difference. Uh, and that's what this first question seems to be from my guy, uh, Nyan. Uh, and so he says, silver linings. So, um, hey, Engraven, I hope our home has treated you well and that you enjoy that Baltimore charm, especially after that prime time when, okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, you already know I love Baltimore with, with a passion. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm originally from Maryland. I'm not from Baltimore. I'm originally from Maryland, though, but um, yeah, Baltimore just is a family, man. It's, it's family, so y'all already know what time it is. But anyway, he said, now here's my thoughts in this game. Yeah, we lost Mark Andrews. Big blow to the offense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he said, however, this team has been injury played before, and over the years, the next man up mentality has prevailed. Now, with that being said, as a positive, this forces Lamar to feed other targets. Now, that is true. That is true. We, we've mentioned the same thing. That, that is a great point. But, <clears throat> well, not but. Um, but I guess in addition to whatever, uh, he's been doing that. So he's been doing that already. Uh, obviously, Mark Andrews is the guy, the, the focal point, because he, him and Mark Andrews have the best chemistry on with, between them on the team by far. But now, like I was just talking to my guy JT a couple of minutes ago, this forces um, the chemistry to get better with other people now. Like they, they, he has no choice because Mark Andrews is completely out. Like that security blanket, that guy you can go to in all situations, that guy that you got the ultimate trust for over everybody else on this team. And that's not a shot at anybody else on the team, but he's just been working with Mark Andrews the longest out of everybody, over Zay Flowers, over Odell, over Rashad Bateman, over Isaiah, like over everybody. Lamar Jackson has been working with Mark Andrews for the longest in a passing game. So that's, that's, that's why he just, that's his go-to guy. But now that's removed, so now it's time for it to go to everybody else. But anyway. He said, as we all know, defenses scheme to shut down the number one target. Every receiver and tight end has hands on this offense and can still contribute in big ways. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <coughs> Continuing, he said, Isaiah likely has been quieter this season, but now he has the opportunity to build upon the momentum he had last year. I believe switching the scheme up a bit to favor him uh, in the Darren Waller type role would be fitting with his size and intangibles. So I guess you're talking about sort of uh, using him as the ultimate pass catcher, not necessarily as a blocking tight end, but as a real pass catching tight end, a tight end slash wide receiver, not really wide receiver, he ain't no wide receiver, but he, as a tight end just that's, that's out there. Uh, moving around, maybe put him in a slot and whatnot, move him around, have him next to the offensive line, just have him doing a lot of different things. But anyway, uh, he said, uh, as long as he remembers to see the ball into his grasp, He'll be beneficial to the offense. If you notice, a lot of his drops this season came from hitches, China routes, and other short yardage situations. Uh, with his size, we should be able to hit him in stride on crossing and corner routes that we, that we can scheme open with either play action or the sight of Zay Flowers. Oh, I like that. Just a sight alone. You know Zay Flowers is a threat. Now, real quick, just a little side note. When you put play action, you put the, the P in play action in capital letters. So capital P, L-A-Y. L-A-Y was in lowercase. So capital P, L-A-Y, action. When I saw that, it reminded me of Lamar Jackson, play action, soul food. But anyway, continuing. He said, Zay Flowers once again shows how much of a threat he is for our offense with his short hands and agility. I really wish that holding call didn't happen, but a flag is a flag. Yeah, some of the flags in that game, both ways, both ways, because there was like Ravens got, I think it was against Zay Flowers. They got a phantom pass interference. It was not pass interference. I remember when I watched the replay. I said, oh, I, okay. Uh, but, yeah, that Odell Beckham Jr., that, holding, that was not holding on Odell Beckham Jr. on the Zay Flowers touchdown. So there was some stuff going both ways. Uh, it was crazy. And it's, it's, that's the game, man. It's, oof. But anyway, anyway, he said, Zay Flowers once again shows how much of a threat he is for our offense with his short hands and agility. I really wish that holding call didn't happen, but a flag is a flag. He'll be in prime position to become Lamar's wide receiver one as his workload just significantly increased, especially with unknown information on OBJ's status. He hasn't cracked under pressure in a primetime game yet, and as a rookie, that is incredible. Uh, it's time to use him less in the end around. <laughs> So it's time to use him less in the end around jet sweep game and more in traditional route scheming, not only to protect his body, but 
we do have a capable player for said jet sweeps in Devin Tuvenay. <laughs> I like this. Nothing with the jet sweeps. It's just something to mix it up a little bit. Get the ball in Zay Flowers' hands so he can show what he, he can do. We, we, we know what he can do, but he can continue to show it. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I get you, man. Uh, but yeah, wide receiver one. Um, I feel like he has been that thus far uh, for the Baltimore Ravens, and we'll see how he continues. Rashad Bateman will likely have to showcase why we drafted him a few years back for his ability to make contested grabs. My only concern with him is his inconsistency slash involvement as of this season. With that touchdown grab, he definitely has a boost in confidence and will hopefully use that as momentum going forward to show us what we saw at the start of last season prior to injury. Now, <coughs> excuse me, Rashad Bateman, <clears throat> I like that you mentioned that. Hopefully that, uh, that touchdown grab, he'll, he'll have a boost in confidence and he'll use that as momentum. Look at Odell Beckham Jr., what he did. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens have been trying. They've been trying with Rashad Bateman too, but they've been trying to get Odell Beckham Jr. a touchdown. And look what happened. Ever since he got that touchdown, look how he's been playing. He just looked better. He looked more loose. He looked more happier. He just, he, he's been a better player, in my opinion. And maybe because he's been getting involved more, maybe that's it. But it's, things have been on an upward trend. Hopefully the same thing happens with Rashad Bateman, like you mentioned. He finally got his touchdown. It's like, all right, great. Let's go. Let's get it. Now let's do more. Him and Lamar, they've been, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Because that ball, that deep ball that he threw to Rashad Bateman on uh, Thursday night, it was a nice one. But Cam Taylor Bridge, he just played it perfectly, perfectly. So mm, he, he played it so perfectly. Jumped up at the last second and swatted it. Would, oh, he played it so perfectly. But if had he not, then Rashad Bateman would have had it. But anyway, <clears throat> that you, you you made a really really good point about Bate. So yeah, hopefully that ended up happening. Vocalek, he said, I don't know if I'm spelling it right. Forgive me. <laughs> it's all good. I'll be messing up everybody's name too. We not on purpose. But anyway. He said, Vokalek now has the opportunity to display that flair we saw in the preseason. He does. Now, would the Ravens turn to an undrafted rookie free agent at tight end to help fill the void of Mark Andrews? And, and Isaiah Likely and Charlie Kolar would be ahead of him, would be ahead of him on a depth chart, of course, and he wouldn't get much playing time, maybe like special teams or something. But would they? I, I, don't, I think they would go to a veteran over him, but we'll see. He said, all in all, we should now focus on establishing the run game and working more in a West Coast approach in terms of taking the short yardage when it comes to the pass game. Every receiver on this roster has the ability to accumulate yak. That part right there. That's something that we haven't been talking about enough this season. We talked about it a lot through the offseason. And, and last offseason, too, that yak is so important. We need receivers that can get the yards after the catch. They can make stuff happen after the catch. And this group, oh, yeah, they, they got it. Anyway, he said Lamar does have a decent deep ball. However, things will be much easier for him if we can focus on taking things one step at a time. In a game where you need 10 yards to continue forward, we should focus on averaging four yards of play until we can catch defenses slipping to give up the big play. I did not like seeing Lamar taking off so much after his ankle tweak on the sideline early in the game a win is a win he prevailed but it is at utmost importance that he protects himself and doesn't create a joe burrow situation for himself live to play another down and year oh yeah 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 for sure you want lamar to make the best decisions for himself and really um <clears throat> just keep him away from logan wilson like that game was crazy that was that that was insane like again i, I is it coincidence or is there something going on? Because three people, he injured three different Ravens in the same game. Same player. Not that three different Ravens got injured in the same game, but three different Ravens got injured by the same player in the same. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. So is it coincidence? I, I don't know. I don't know. It is crazy, though, man. But anyway, he said, <clears throat> team, keep it clean. We will be okay. I have faith in Munkin and Lamar Jackson. We're in prime position in our division, and now we need to beat whoever is in front of us. One game at a time, one play at a time. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. No more, no less. That's it. And he said, I'm sorry this is so long. And shout out to Nelson Aguilar. Again, apologies for the spelling. For the awareness. Shout out to Team Keep It Clean. And shout out to the... No, no. Well, th this next part is a lie. I'm going to read it anyway. But this next part is a lie. He said, shout out to the greatest NFL outsider, Nyan the Great. And he said, P.S. Here we go. Here we go. Now, my guy Nyan, who I got a lot of love for, I appreciate him. He said that Jadavion Clowney ain't it. He said that about two weeks ago. And I said, hey, Jadavion Clowney going to show you something. And I'm going to need a public apology. 
So he issued an apology, but it wasn't the apology that I thought it was going to be. But anyway, he said, P.S., I see your boy JC24 is starting to cook a little, though my opinion on him hasn't largely <laughs> He said, but my opinion on him hasn't largely changed. Let's see if he's consistent. And if he is, I will issue that. I will issue you that apology. Okay, that sounds good. And he's going to be. He's going to be. I mean, what, he got six and a half sacks? Um, so now, again, with, J- with Jadavion Clowney, he's supposed to be the league leader in sacks. It's supposed to be him. But he just ain't been close. That would that have been his issue. He would get back there, and then he would be swiping, no swiping, and then he would miss. And then the quarterback would get away, and somebody else would get But he's been closing better more recently. So now it's just time for him to continue. 